Fantastisch. Guten Tag allerseits. So my name is Mick and we're going straight off into it. How to tray flip or how to 360 flip. Now this wouldn't be one of my videos without some history. So the history of the 360 flip is that it is a Rodney Mullen trick. The creator of almost all flat ground tricks that we know today that have been innovated were Rodney's. Now it was back in 87. So a lot of other skateboarders were trying the tricks. A lot of people accredit the 360 flip with Jason Lee. So if you guys know Dogma and big one, my name is Earl, the actor. Yes, him. Now that's a little quick history of the 360 flip. Let's get into how to. Now let's go to the video because as you see me coming up to this transition i don't lose my momentum before i try the trick as i get to a certain point as you see my feet so this is the stance that you're going to want to have now as you see i am about two inches away from the front of my bolts and my foot is in the position almost 45 degree angle that'll make it a lot easier to get that flip and that rotation that you do need now the back foot is going to be very important here as you see my back foot is actually in the position of right where the concave is of the tail and it's pretty much on the ball of my foot with my front toes hanging slightly off just off the edge to get the swipe that i need for the 360. now as you still watch my back foot it is a pop and scoop that pop and scoop will send the board in the rotation that you do need and simultaneously you are actually flicking the front foot for the kick for the full rotation now the rotation is going to be everything here because you do want to see grip tape again and that's why the trick being that it's in front of you you're able to see the grip tape come around now the pop and scoop of the tail as well as your height that you're going to get while you jump is going to help you out in the end because it will allow you to get that rotation you need as well as see the grip tape coming towards you allowing you to catch the board and land with a lot more ease so that is basically how I do my tray flips. In this case, this is up a transition and coming back down. So this one was a little bit more difficult. I did mess up a bunch of times, but this is the learning experience because these are the tricks that I did before and I'm learning them again being at my age. And I cannot stress enough with the pop and scoop, you really want to pop that tail and scoop because that will do everything for you in the end. And the only way you can do this and learn it is actually go out and try. But I will tell you right now, a lot of people will try this stationary. It's a lot more harder. So you got to have some speed. You got to have some movement. So before you do this, a lot of practice with your kickflips, a lot of practice with pop shove it. So that is definitely the way it is. I hope this helped anybody out there who is still learning tray flips or learning to get better at 360 flips because I am still doing it. This was another how to. Thank you for watching. This is me.